my right. heart. All yeah. Right. Okay. So I just started the video just to uh, <laughs> let everyone know that we did survive going over the rock. It just scraped the going, bottom of the canoe. Going and, backwards. Yeah, and Scott okay. very Scott very capably handled the little <laughs> mini rapid that was there. So it was quite I'm the right. one who kind of panics because. I mean, it's not like I haven't been tipped over in the canoe before, but not with Scott. So, no, no. so we're talking on going on, oh, going on eight summers. This would be our eighth summer canoeing together. It would be. So. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. No, it hasn't happened yet. Been close a couple times, but not. not yeah. Seri not seriously. But not either. scarily. Not scarily, so. Not seriously. Just scary. me. I just tend to be rather a little dramatic in this case. Well. I mean, I don't know what I'm so worried about. I. It's not like I can't swim. It's not like, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to let you drown. Don't it's worry. not like we're going over a waterfall <laughs> or anything. Plus, I have not only my attorney here, but also <laughs> my lifeguard. Literally right. a lifeguard. And trust me, I will save your life. I'm trained. I know how to do it. You already saved my life, honey. <laughs> when did that happen? From a life of uh, of uh, loneliness and. <laughs> how in the world no, I no, I don't think that. I shouldn't say that because I don't. Honestly, I'm a, I'm a rather uh, introverted person, so I actually do enjoy my own company, but well, you but. Do. But, but I like being part of, you know, part of, part of a couple, so. Well, I saved, I saved you from a, from a loveless relationship. Well, well, yes, but I had already saved myself from That's that. That's true, that you did. So, you so. Did. That's right, you did, it. No, you, so, did that, you did that part yourself. I did that myself. And you got happy yourself. Because you were not, because you were not involved in that. And you got happy yourself and I got happy myself and then we met each other. Yeah, and then, and then we could share her happy, right? Then we got happy together. Yep. See, that's the way it should work. Exactly. That's exactly how it should work. In fact, that's really the way it has to work. Right. Because nobody completes anybody. No. No, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about that. I want to talk about those reality shows that I watch sometimes, you know, when I'm when I'm doing my work on the computer for you and I've got the TV on and I'm watching, you know, like... 90 Day Fiance, uh, you know, the one that's the before, you know, before, and the 90 Day Fiance, what's yeah. happening now, and all of those, those silly things, so I just want your, I just want your take on this 90 Day Fiance thing, so I'll, I'll explain the premise for people that don't understand, basically these people meet online, how they meet online, I don't really know if it's what, what, like venue that they use or what platform that they use to meet each other they meet each other online one of them lives overseas one of them lives in the u.s um a lot of times there are vast age differences sounds like a recipe for disaster already so tell me what tell me tell me tell me why you why you feel like that and why I mean yeah, it's that watching you. the shows it's like to me I just watch it and I I see what's happening between the two people and basically think yeah this is pretty much doomed all it's right, what well, I think uh, about all you, of them <laughs> I'll give you my short synopsis number one it's doomed from the start you, you, you you haven't met in person you're meeting online you don't know what the person is like you can only communicate through text or phone well some one or, couple can only communicate through a translation app on their phone okay. they don't even speak the same so, language so, so they have no idea about the tone or inflection or the enthusiasm of the other person's voice they're they also, facetime a lot but, but still but but that's they're, still but they're not also the same. long distance right so they can't get to know each other well enough see anybody can put on a face for about 90 three days. months, six months. <laughs> Anybody can put on a face. But for a year, a year and a half, no. You're going to learn who they really are in a year. But it takes a year and a half Yeah. to get to know who somebody really is. And that's why those things are doomed. Because those people don't know each other before they decide to get involved in this 90-day thing. 90 days is nothing. Yeah, no. not Well, the, not, what the deal is is that they get a, you know, they get a, like a... 
whatever it's called, the visa where you can come and stay yeah. for for three months, and then yeah. basically they're on a on a deadline. If they want to get together, they have to get married before that 90 days is up, oh, well, and then so, they can apply for. So even more of a recipe for disaster. So then you've got an artificial deadline to right. uh, to either get connected or not get connected. That's no way to do things. Right. It can't be forced. One couple in particular. So she came to the U.S. Uh, she didn't. She didn't like it. She didn't like it very much. She's from Brazil. And so basically she told her fiance that if he wanted to be with her, he was going to have to leave everything behind and move to Brazil and stay there. Oh, uh, well, usually, usually they want to come here and stay in the U.S. Well, that's unusual. I think for her, part of the reason, part of the reason why, from what I can kind of tell is that she's, um, she's kind of a party girl, but she's also very jealous. So she likes to do what she wants to do, oh, but she doesn't want him to do what he wants to do. Well, that sounds like a recipe for this. So that's why she again. wants him to go there because he doesn't speak, um, he doesn't speak, um, no, Portuguese. Do they speak pro Portuguese in Brazil? Uh, yeah, maybe they yeah. do. Yeah, well, he doesn't speak the language. Okay. And so I guess she feels like she'll have more control over him okay. over there because he doesn't really have any friends or anything. But then she's mad because he can't speak the language because he can't get a job. So what is that? So, that, that, so there's rule number two broken. You've got an inflexible, structured woman. How's that going to be in the long run? How's well, gonna, he's already not having how's, fun. How's, how's that going to be living in a, in, a, in a cabin in Alaska for the next 30 years? Which right. Is what, which is what it's like when you marry someone, essentially. Well, he, he's, he got bamboozled because she's beautiful, as many well, you know, young Brazilian women are. So he was totally infatuated, totally over the top in his interest level yeah, well, and I, she just kind of thought it was it was kind of cute and kind of fun yeah well you know so he got he but so, now that he wants to make it real and have a real relationship and commit to each other she's like well that's that's not what she really wants so, so there again so his ob his his objectivity was blown by his high interest level in her good looks a recipe for disaster Okay, so let me tell you about another couple. So here's another couple. She lives in Ecuador. He lives here. Um, he's in his 30s. She's in her 20s. Um, he lives with his mother. Bad sign. Who gave, who gave him a lock of hair before he left to move to Ecuador. A lock of her hair, like out of her comb. You don't have to go any further. <laughs> <laughs> Story's over. I think we need to close up this video, honey. All right. Uh, all all right. right. So that's our that's our <laughs> review of 90 Day Fiance and and uh -oh. our uh, philosophy from the canoe. Her view or his view, however you right. you uh, however you wanna <laughs> wanna parse it. Well, Say goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.